All right, man, we back, Marcy Sports Sports Talk. And, um, yeah, let's talk about the Detroit Pistons. Is it time to blow it up and trade who they need to trade and start over? We back. It's your boy, CJ Goodfella. And uh, I watched the game last night, man. I was live on my other channel, but I was watching the game as well. And Malik Monk hit an unbelievable shot, and the Pistons was down, going down a stretch of the fourth quarter. They came back. Um, early on, they dominated and just couldn't sustain uh, you know, you know, the dominance and, you know, they just can't beat Charlotte. Last year I think they swept us, if I'm not mistaken. And um even without Kimball Walker, I think they're a better team than I anticipated without Kimball Walker. The Graham kid is going went, going crazy this season. Um uh Terry Rozier is playing solid. Um and they just getting an all around effort from everybody out there, man. And um it's a team that, you know, you put out there Blake Griffin, and Blake Griffin played 30 minutes tonight. Um, you put out Derrick Rose, he played 26 minutes tonight. Galloway had a huge game. Drummond had 16 and 20. I mean, you know, and I just don't get it, man. I'm a t- I should have made this video longer, man, but it's like part one because it's, it's a way too early uh, video. But you got to ask the question, okay? Um, is this team going to get better? Because guess what? As the season go on, Derrick Rose won't get healthier. I thought Derrick Rose was out for maintenance. He legitimately had a leg injury. And people say, well, you know, CJ, why you say Derrick Rose, you know, why you hating on Derrick Rose? I'm not hating on Derrick Rose. It's an actual fact that you can't depend on Derrick Rose night in and night out. Okay. And y'all seeing it now. He can't play back-to-backs, really. And the Pistons had to play the most games, back-to-back games or – you know, they've had to play the most games to anybody. We have a treacherous schedule so far. Blake Griffin, you know it's going to take a minute to get his legs up under him, but how healthy he going to be? You can't depend on him. <laughs> you know, Luke Kennard coming back, it's going to be an adjustment for Luke Kennard. He played 37 minutes, 5 points, 5 assists, 5 rebounds. Why is it going to be an adjustment for Luke Kennard coming back? Because he used to having a ball in his hands. He used to, you know, when he was being successful, it was him shooting the ball. Now you bring Blake Griffin back. Blake need the shots. Dre going to get his shots at the rim. You know what I'm saying? Then you bring Reggie back. He going to get his shots. You know what I'm saying? Then you got to bring Markeith Morris in. He going to get his shots. So, you know, Luke Kennard not going to be as aggressive as he could be. But I do think it's too early to say so. But it's not looking good in my opinion. 4-9. Um, you got to wait till Blake Griffin get his legs under him. Then when he gets his legs under him, will he be healthy? You wait for Reggie Jackson to come back a couple more weeks. Is he really going to do something? I don't I don't foresee it, even in the contract year. You count on Derrick Rose, who can't play every night. And now you got to implement all these new guys in, in the rotation. And now you got to find a way to get Luke Kennard readjusted with Blake coming back. With Rose getting back in, with Reggie getting back in, and 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 now you trying out Langston Galloway. You know he had a big game, and you know CV getting some minutes. So at the end of the, at the end of the day, the team is old, it's injury prone, and his young talent ain't playing good enough. Besides Luke Kennard, other than last night, you know, and that's what it is. Dwayne Casey, you know, my only problem with him is, why Why does Christian Wood only have six minutes played? Seriously. This is a guy that could defend the rim. This is a guy that can stretch it out the three-point land. This is your prototypical big man today. You know what I'm saying? Why is Christian Wood only playing six minutes? And no matter how bad Bruce Brown play, he playing 22. No matter, you no, know, Tony Snell only got nine minutes in. Yes, I don't know what happened with him. But like I said, like I said before, man, this team is old, it's beat up uh, right now, and I don't think it's gonna get no better. To be honest, you know, even when Blake start getting in his groove, it's just a matter of time till we go back down. And now it's it's, it's going to affect Andre because Andre. He got a, He was used to the pretty much the offense kind of semi going through him. Not Blake coming back. He got to readjust to Blake. 
when Reggie come back, he got to readjust to, to Reggie because Reggie going to win his shots. Then they got to find a way for Luke Kennard to get his shot. It's it's going to be tough for, for Dwayne to implement that. But um, to be honest, to be honest, I think it's way too early to, to blow it up. But I think it's trending that way. I do. I definitely think it's trending that way. They added some depth this year. You know, they added Morris. They added Rose, you know. Um, Luke Kennard playing a lot better. Galloway played good last night. He's been playing a little bit better. They added depth. Fine only got three minutes. So, my problem is this, okay. Dwayne Casey has got to trust his young guys, okay. He got to come up with a few young guys he's going to put in the rotation. If you going to – see if he's going to get 20 minutes a game, so be it. You know what I'm saying? Luke going to get what he going to get. He going to play full-time minutes, 30, 40 minutes a game. I get it. But, hey, Christian Woods or Thine Maker, which one you picking? Okay? You can't go with all old dudes because you got to develop your young talent. And Sayoko, man, forget all that, bro. The Pistons took Sayoko. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Dumambo, whatever his name. They took him to be in the G League and ride the bench. You don't have that luxury. Unless you plan it on rebuilding. They was in win now mode. They was supposed to go for it now. With bringing Derrick Rose in. Bringing Markeith Morris in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Blake Griffin, Andre, Reggie, keeping them in. They was supposed to go for it now. And it ain't working. They was supposed to go for it now. Can, can Sayoko be any worse than Thine Maker? Can he be any worse on any given night than Tony Snell? One rebound, nine minutes? You know, can he be any worse than Bruce Brown out there some nights? So at some point, Dwayne Casey got to figure out what this team is. But eventually, it's going to boil down to them trading, trading all the veterans. It is. It's going to boil down to it. And if they don't, if they re-up Andre Drummond, where they going to set the franchise back? Five years and they re up drumming without and keep Blake Griffin. You know, even if they let Tony Reggie walk or not, that 18 million not gonna mean nothing once you give, you know, Drummond a super max contract. It's not gonna mean nothing. This team is what it is. It's a four and nine team. If Blake come back and do well, what are they? Are are they an eighth seed? Are they a seven? Are they a six? What are they? It's the question. Because the East right now, uh, Celtics are 10-1. and one. The Heat are number two, 8-3. We didn't see that coming. And they've been missing Jimmy Butler early. The Raptors are 8-3. and three. The Bucks are 8-3. and three. The Sixers are 7-5. Seven and five. The Pacers are 7-5. and five. And then the 7-8 is 5-7 five, five, five and seven, Charlotte and 5-7 and seven, Magic. 4-7 and seven, Nets are 9. Cleveland Cavaliers playing better. They just beat the 76ers the other night, 4-7. and seven. The Atlanta Hawks, who beat us already, 4-7. and seven. Chicago Bulls, who beat us already, 4-8. and eight. The Pistons are the third worst team in the East. You hear me? They're the third worst. Only teams worse than them are the Knicks and the Wizards, which the Wizards beat us. That's the only team that's worse than us. Two teams worse than us. And you figure... The way Toronto playing, they a lot. The way Milwaukee playing, they a lot. The way the Heat playing, they a lot. You the way the Celtics playing, they a lot. You know the 76ers when they get everybody back, you know, and on par, they a lot. Oladipo been practicing. And Brogdon got hurt last night, but they a lot. So really you fighting for the seventh or eighth spot with or Hornets, with the Magic, with the Nets, with the Cavs, with the Hawks, and they dealing with some injuries. With the Bulls, who well, I thought the Bulls would be in there, but don't know what happened. And it's trending towards the Pistons being sellers at the trade deadline. What you paying? Uh, what you paying Blake, Reggie, and Drummond? And the assets you gave up to get Luke Kennard with that was the ninth, tenth pick, and didn't get Devon Mitchell. Imagine if they had Devon Mitchell. This team would be totally different. Blake Griffin would not have to do what he's doing. But Devon Mitchell would have set up Andre Drummond. He'd be a better player. You know? And if they do want to kind of fix this on the fly, 
Well, what I would do is try to put a package together, send it to Houston for Russell Westbrook. But then again, you could be digging yourself deeper. You could be digging. You could be digging, digging your uh, uh, <laughs> digging your grave deeper. That's what could happen. But it's worth the if it's worth the risk. It's worth the risk. If they prepared to rebuild, the way this team going, well, you need to rebuild. It's okay. It's okay. Blake Griffin, he at the end of his career, he should be playing for something. Find somewhere to send him to. Andre Drummond, a lot of teams will take Andre Drummond right now. His stock is, is high. It's high. Do you want to trade him in your – it don't matter if you trade him in your, 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 your division or trade him in your conference at this point. You're not going to be nothing. Not. But I think it's a little bit early to say it's over with. But do you really see the Pistons beating the 76ers, beating the Raptors, beating the Bucks, beating the Heat, beating the Celtics? No. And even if when things come right and people start to get healthy, guys get injured again. That's what happened. Guys get injured right again. And, it, and like I said, man, come to the trade deadline, somebody, some got to shake. Do you really want Andre Drummond to hit the market? And you potentially not get nothing for him. You still can sign and trade him somewhere. But do you really want that to happen? Do you really want an agent superstar in Blake Griffin? Do you really want to let Reggie Jackson walk for nothing and just take the $18 million off the cap? Or do you want to get an asset for him? You want to get a pick for him? You want to get a player somebody else may not fit their system, may fit your system? It's time for the Pistons to start to look at, all right, this is not going to work. Let's acquire some assets. You know, you look at a team like Denver. You know, they can use Blake Griffin. You might have to get Paul Millsap contract in return, which I think it's on. It's an expiring deal. But hey, if you can get Michael Porter Jr., you can nurse him up to health, or you can get a Gary Harris, a young guy like that, or you get one of the young guard with the young guards, Craig, and somebody you can send Blake Griffin up to Denver, or and you get some picks. Andre Drummond, I don't know where fit for him. But it's time it's time to kind of think like, all right, man, if this don't go right, we gotta rebuild. But if they wanna keep pouring money, if they wanna if they wanna kind of try to fix they fix it on the fly, well, I'll be calling West or Westbrook. I'll be calling Houston. I'll be calling Houston. And I want to keep drumming and Blake with with West or Westbrook. They can have Derrick Rowe, they can have Reggie Jackson, they can even have Luke Kennard if the fuck they wanted to. You know, and if you that's what I would do, but um right now it ain't looking good. Blake Griffin, D- Derrick Rose, they're not gonna get healthier through the season. Blake Griffin will get healthier right now. His knee I don't even think he's gonna be the same guy. I think this injury was worse than what they said it was. And like I said about Derrick Rose, he can't be a full time starter because his body can't do it no more. He's still playing reckless. He's still jumping and being demonstrative with his with his movements and shit. Like it ain't gonna work. He ain't made that adjustment, man. But he is still a hell of a player in Sparks. He's still a hell of a player in Sparks, and I never denied that. But it's time to possibly think about blowing it up at this point. But you got about you got about what you got about ten to a weeks to the trade deadline, so things could turn around. But my problem is. In an 82-game season, players don't get healthier, especially older players. They don't. You know, so if they want to build around Andre Drummond and they give him a Supermax contract, okay, you can do it. But then again, you're going to have to move Blake Griffin and Reggie Jackson and start something new around Blake Griffin, Andre Drummond. But me personally, if this don't go right, by the time January hit, the end of January, I'm moving everybody. I'm, everybody can go. I'm doing picks. I'm trying to get young assets, and I'm building from the ground up. And we starting this over, right this over in a decade, but hey, the new decade. But hey, it's Motor City Sports Talk. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business question, cry response, share video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation link subscription? Best way to donate is share share the video. And let me know what you guys think about the pictures so far, man. I said like I said, it's a little bit premature. 
But um, it's not looking like it's going to go good. But, hey, let me know what you thought about the game last night, what you think about what you've seen. One time for the one time, Mercy Sports Talk. We go.